So I started doing the work that I do now, which is helping people with quality of life issues, kind of chronic pain, stress, addiction. I started doing that at the beginning when I started acting, but I did it for free. And then about 15 years ago, I started charging. Uh, I did donation and then I did sliding scale and then I started charging and then the, it just took off and I love it. I feel like I'm so much better at this. I, I've worked in hospitals. Um, I worked at the Betty Ford Center in the pain management program. Uh, that was amazing. Great experience for like a year and a half. Got to help a lot of people. Um, but my whole thing is I, I help people rewrite the program. It's like I, people run their life with a program. And the program was written almost always in the early years of our life. And so it's our belief system. It's how much money we make. It's the quality of our relationships, our choices. Everything is this really bound in this program that people are just running unconsciously. So I help people have access to that and to rewrite the program and to see that we don't store memory in the mind. Memory shows up in the mind, but it's actually held in the body in a big way too. So it's like our bodies remember stuff. So as we clear that out, we start getting more possibility, uh, start seeing life improve. Um, and I, I just love it. I mean, I, yeah, I love doing it. Where did it come from? You you said you've been, I mean, your your site says that you've been doing this for 35 years. How does someone who's in their early 20s have the the experience to, to, to you know, I had a miserable time. I'll spare you the childhood. I'll spare you the kind of things that happened uh, in my life. But it was to me a desperation out of like, I got to do something or else I'm not going to be able to stay on this planet. I just, it was like that level of intensity. And so I started discovering like things like self-help, right? And all these kind of things that were out there, most of it was crap, but there was a handful of them that were like, wow, this is really helpful, right? So I do more of that and I'd integrate something else and I'd travel in another country and study with somebody here and read this book and take this seminar. I mean, I studied thousands and thousands of different uh, paths, different people, um, gurus, meditation, you know, anything you could imagine that could help the human condition. I really wanted to help myself. And then as I was helping myself, I'm like, this is cool. I'm going to, I want to share this and help other people. So I did, but I didn't charge for it. Cause I just loved doing it. And I was making a living uh, in the acting world. And, uh, and then eventually I just made the transition. I'm like, what am I doing in this acting thing as I don't love it because the struggle, I love working, but I didn't love all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. And I love this other thing. And I'm much, I feel like I'm so much better at this than I ever was uh, in the acting and so uh, that's what I do. And I've gotten to work with some of the most amazing Academy Award winners and ath Olympic athletes, professional athletes, homeless people, rock and roll stars. I mean, I've had some of the most incredible experiences ever. Uh, I'll tell you a really quick anecdotal thing. I can tell you a thousand crazy stories, but my favorite band growing up, which will remain nameless because I have to honor the, it's actually a HIPAA law because I'm I met them through uh, Cedar sinai Hospital. I was working with a cardiologist, head of clinical cardiology at Cedars, coming into their office, going into the hospital, working with their patients. So this doctor calls me and says, hey, I got an emergency. Uh, one of my patients is getting ready to perform on national television and they can't stand up. I cannot get them a muscle relaxer fast enough. They got 25 or 30 minutes before they're literally going on national TV. They were performing for the, uh, I think it was the Olympics at the time. And I'm like, yeah, 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 just have them call me. And um, so they call me. So I'm a little starstruck because this is like my favorite group growing up and it's their lead singer. And I'm like, this is amazing, right? So I worked on them over the phone for like three, four minutes and they were completely fine. The back pain was gone. They were walked on. They did a great concert. So when they came back to Los Angeles, they wanted to meet me. So I met them at the uh, clinic and they were like, a little spooked out because some of the some of the stuff I do is a little weird. I mean, it's like it's strange, <laughs> but but hey, if it works, who cares? And and they were like, you know, just really uh, uh, humbled, and I was humbled, of course, too. And it was just great to meet them. And and uh, but I have so many of those experiences. I mean, just weird stuff. Go figure. That's wonderful. Where uh, for, for people who want to know more, where should they go check it out? Oh, okay. Yeah. So my website is healthbeyondbelief.com or you can go to johnnewton.com uh, and it redirects. Um, so yeah, that's that. And there's, there's a uh, free stuff on there. It's not like, you know, you got to buy something. Uh, there's all kinds of interesting information and, and free stuff. I do a free call every, every month for people and it's 90 minutes and 
you can get something worked on on the call. It's a little odd. When I talk about it out loud, it sounds a little strange. <laughs> My whole life feels surreal. But hey, people are getting help. I love it. And uh, it's all good. The results are all that matter, right? Well, exactly. And uh, and a, a lot of people get help. I'm not, you know, make, I don't make medical claims. I'm really care conscious because I work with doctors. I work with therapists. But man, I've worked with people that, you know, survive plane crashes and can't even go near an airplane. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, they're on a plane and they're completely fine. No stress at all. I've helped 9-11 survivors and just so many people with all kinds of wild things. Cops who've been shot on duty and, you know, can't leave their house. Just wild stuff. A lot of, a lot of uh, vets who've come back from the theater of war and just struggle and helping them is, is awesome. I love doing that too. So um, yeah, it's a, fun, it's, it's a great path. I feel humbled to be, uh, to be able to do it. So, you know,